Y'all know what I'm realizing more and more about life? People in this world love to stay losers. They are so connected to being a loser. <laughs> they love scrolling on social media all day. Living life with no ambition. Aimless. Nothing to shoot at. Nothing to aim for. They're purposeless. They have no purpose, nor do they care about even finding one. You know, <clears throat> as somebody who's always been empathetic and cared about my people, those who do like I do, as I do, those are my people in this world, right? Somebody who's always been of that caliber, cut from that cloth. I never wanted to see people that I cared about so much fail. I never wanted to see them just shit and piss their lives away. I was the type of friend to give so many ideas and tutorials and how to's and money and time and energy and sacrifices and determination and give all of that to a friend who wouldn't know how to take it. Who wouldn't want to take it. But sometimes in their, in their JavaScript, in their heart, they couldn't take it. <laughs> they mind, they body, they soul, they spirit wouldn't let them. Because they were so connected to being a loser. Now, just take this in real life right now. I'm sure you watching have older brother, younger brother, younger sister, older sister, cousins, niece, nephews, aunties, uncles, grandparents. Who speak with so much despair and regret. Every time you talk to them, it's about what should have been, could have been, and what has been. They're always viewing things from how shit used to be. How shit used to be is not the meta. <laughs> it's not the way of life anymore. Okay? So, you either change with the times, you grow and elevate, or you complain and stay the same. There's no in-between. There is no in-between. You're either growing in this life or you're dying. You're either a dead plant with weeds around it or an aspiring, beautiful, colorful, healthy plant with other beautiful, healthy plants around them. Why do people love being losers? Having no ambition, no drive, no motor. They want to stay so connected to the unknown. So it drives them to become nihilistic, not caring about anything, saying everything is stupid, relationships are stupid, women are stupid, girls are stupid, teachers are stupid, college is stupid. They got the complete wrong mindset. So their life is going to reflect that. What you think creates what you feel. What you feel enables what you see. These things right here is the lens and our brain is a projector. So what we see from the projector, from our subconscious mind, is how we're going to experience life. Y'all ever left the movie <clears throat> that was so popular and everybody wanted to go to it? Opening week, everybody couldn't wait to see it. It was the talk of the town. And then you leave the movie theaters like... Did I just go see that? <laughs> Did I just spend my money on that shit? That's what I paid for? Meaning, my experience wasn't all that great. So then, those people, aka we call those people critics, those critics begin to go on the internet, tell their friends from word of mouth, or text and call, and tell their friends that this movie is trash, don't go see it. Well... Your experience of the movie is not going to be my experience. I may be interested in shit like that. Just because you're not, don't put that on to me. 
I may like action films. You may get bored by them. Do not spew that projection onto me. I'm slinging that motherfucker off. And I'm never, ever going to come back to you with any more advice. Because I know what you do with ideas and advice. You say it's stupid. You say it's dumb. Uh, you're too skeptic. Every time you respond to something, it's so one foot in, one foot out, half ass, scary. How you move, how you talk to people, scary, shy. You shying away. Now, to my people who know who they are, shout out to you, first and foremost. But this is how you define a this is how you see a loser. This is how you see a loser. If they have these traits and they have these habits, and we're not talking about the, the psychological familial trauma. We're not talking about that. That's a whole other video. We're talking about the traits, the characteristics, and the personas that these losers pick up. See, us as winners, we don't know how to <laughs> play a game only in hopes of not losing. We're playing the game to win. The losers play the game to not lose. You already on defense. You already starting the game, even if y'all won the tip. You are starting the game on defense. How fucked up is that mentally? You can just imagine how fucked up and deranged you begin to feel and think and see people, places, things, circumstances once you have that perception. <laughs> I'm playing not to lose. So you will do anything. You will risk all of your morals, the little that you had. You will sacrifice all of your integrity, the little that you had. You will disable all things that you thought was righteous over some money because you're a loser. And this is the sad truth of life. Most people in this world are losers. And before y'all even go in the comments and talk about this guy is speaking negatively on people who are finding their way, trust me, <laughs> no, I am not. A lot of times, these be people's mindsets their whole entire life, and they got to come back and reincarnate and do it all over again. This, this is their whole way of life. Failing, 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 failing. They're not even getting up, though. They're not even learning from what they failed on. They're just failing and failing and failing and then crying about failing and failing again and then failing again. I tell you all the time, make sure as best as you can, as much as you can, fail forward. Fail forward and get up. Fail forward and get up. Stop sitting there complaining and looking around for people's hand. Most times you're not going to get that. So stop looking for it. You know what I'm saying? Help me help you. Reverse that. Help you by helping me. That's the way of life. Help yourself. Newsflash. If you love somebody in this world so very much, you care about their well-being. You don't want to see them hurt, cry, be in pain, be scarred, have bad experiences. Any of this life. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself for them because they are watching you. They are looking at you, whether that be on social media, in real life. They're watching what you post. They're watching how many times you go to the gym a week. They're watching how you meal prep, what you eat, your physique, how you speak, your skin. Your skin tells a lot about what somebody's going through. <laughs> Remember that shit. They're watching everything. So you are partially of the example. That should hold a lot of weight in your heart. You feel me? That should hold a lot of weight in your heart. That you are not the, but you are an example to them. So help yourself. Take care of yourself. Physically, mentally, monetarily, emotionally, spiritually, you name it. Take care of you to take care of them. 
So I know it's very disheartening to be around people who we shared so many funny, entertaining, joyous, painful moments with. It's disheartening to realize that all this time I've been doing my best to make a loser become a winner. <laughs> Fuck. It's like I'm moving backwards. Not even on purpose. That's because I wasn't aware of this. My love for you. My love for you got in the way of that. And it's a sad truth, y'all. It's a very, very sad truth. This is how you define a loser. How to know who is with you through it all and how to know if somebody is just with you for a season. It hurts. That's why they call it growing pains. They don't call it growing likes. <laughs> Because you're growing into a new self. You're growing into a new body, new mind, new mission, new purpose. It just so happens your knees hurt in the process. You're growing into a new man. You're growing into a new woman. When you were 5'3", you got looked at as... Lil Jaden. You got looked at as a little boy. And you're a freshman, sophomore in high school. But you're 5'3". Your growth spurt hasn't hit yet. You're 5'3". So the girls, you, you still got your same charisma, energy, characteristics, personality. You athletic. You charismatic, you enthusiastic, you optimist. You got all of these different traits, but you are only 5'3". So you some little nigga. You some little nigga. Until that sophomore summer going into your junior year, you hit a stupid growth spurt. Boys get a little deeper. You get a couple chin hairs in that there. You got the beard. You know what I mean? And you grow to six feet over a couple months. Are you supposed to be looked at as the same person as if you were 5'3"? No! You are a new man. You're six foot now. You are towering over the girls in your class who was clowning on you. Nah, you some little nigga. You hit a crazy growth spurt. So for a different season, for a new season... You're going to have people who are envious, look at you different, change. You know, that's why they say money changes the person with money, not the people around them. But I'll say the opposite. A person who has integrity, morals, values, principles, boundaries, standards, I'm not even going to say high standards, high boundaries. They have their basics down pat. Money doesn't change them. <laughs> money makes them learn more. Money only changes the people around them because now with the money and the wealth that you have, people, your friends, family, are looking at you like, damn, bro, you, you traveling. You, you went to two cities. You went to two cities in a week. You missed a big time. Now, yeah, you ain't got no time for us no more. And here's what they say to keep you back in that loser mindset. Don't forget about us little people. I'm not bigger than what I am because of the money. You think I am. I am who I've been all along. I am who I am. Ain't it funny how when it comes to losers, <laughs> I got to laugh talking about losers sometimes. <laughs> Ain't it funny? Losers want you to sit in the bucket just like them. Put your knees to your chest. Shiver. Just be cold. I'm tired of shivering. That's why I got two jackets now. 
and they look nice. Yeah, I got two jackets on. I'm tired of being cold. Let me get warm on y'all niggas. Let me get warm. <laughs> Let me cook, as they say. Yeah. Losers want you to stay in a certain position so they can feel appreciated. And they can be validated on them being some fucking losers. Goddamn loser. Don't project your loser mentality onto me. I'm a born winner. I am a born winner. Even when I lose, I'm learning more than you ever have. My lessons learned from my losses are way more groundbreaking than yours ever will be because I know how to adapt. I know how to change with the times. If I got a result I didn't like, Based off of work I didn't put in. I need to change the work I put in to get different results. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I will be stupid to do the same thing and get the same results that I didn't like. Come on now. Let's not play stupid here. So, losers love focusing on the winners. The winners love focusing on winning. How can we win more? How can we make our grass look ultra natural and green? Because, you know, on the winter side, it looks, feels, smells very nice. <laughs> very nice. But on the loser side, man, it's crowded. It stinks. It smells bad. Y'all have bad B.O. You have a broke-ass mindset. Broke-down-ass foundation. Principles, morals. That a lot of things about them. I'm not going to say everything. A lot of things about you are broken down. Whereas I am placing brick by brick every day to build an empire. You want to take my empire down. You want to say, I'm too young to build an empire. You want to say, I can't build an empire in this field, doing this job, around these people, being black, being tall, being handsome, being fit, being muscular, meal prepping, cooking. You're saying, I can't do it because you want me to join the dark side, a.k.a. the weak side, because y'all weak. Y'all weak as shit. <laughs> and that's why they say a strong and confident man frustrates weak men. It irks them. They can't be in the same vicinity as a man like that. Everything they say is just, he just think he know it all. He's so, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they blood, they skin. They, if they got two jackets on, they got one on now because they got to they gotta take that bitch off. It's too hot. It's too hot. The winner man, just by him being him, with his confidence, y'all know the rest. Y'all know the rest. So just remember this video. The next time you see people Friends, family, who you think, who you thought was on your side, but really not. Because when you make them changes, when you, when you, when you break down that old version of you and you grow into an elevated version who you possibly never thought this person would evolve into, when you evolve into that, when you become that person, oh my goodness. Then they start to get mad. Then they start to hate. Then they want more of your time. But when I was my old self and I was here all the time, you took me for granted. You didn't show me no love. <laughs> you didn't treat my presence like a present. You treated my presence like trash day. It's trash day. Throw the trash out. Yeah, I'll see you later, bro. Uh-huh. On your phone, distracted. Not even in the moment. Like, 
I'm here forever. Like I'm gonna stay in a bucket forever, just like you. Uh uh. One last thing, we're gonna end it off here. This is one simple, simple way to know if somebody is with you, aka wanting to join the winner's table, or not with you, aka a loser. It's one thing. So if this person has been through so much shit with you, right? And you begin to make a change. You begin to become that future self that you always been looking for, but never could really pinpoint what you needed to do to become that person, right? They're watching you. They see you, right? You are an example for them, a strong example. If they don't ask you questions, if they don't call you every once in a while and see the results that you've been making from what you've been doing, you a little mad. They a little mad, y'all. You only around for a season because when I was in this position, not making too many steps to change my life. It was all, it was all high fives and sunshine. <laughs> but now when I don't drink, I don't party, I don't smoke, I don't spend my money frivolously. I'm not frugal, but I invest, I read. I'm working out multiple times a week, meal prepping, picking up new habits, listening to podcasts, Buying ebooks, buying courses, investing in myself, my mind, my spirit, my face physically. I'm investing in all of these different things. I have so much to talk about. I, I have so many levels that I have just increased. Seems like overnight to you. You know why? Because you haven't been asking me shit. Yo, JB, I seen that book you posted on, on Instagram. Uh, where can I get that from? Or can I use your something? If they don't ask you questions, hmm. you know what's crazy, y'all? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show no names, but I literally, I literally had my man's text me right now on my phone five minutes ago. My man's just text me five minutes ago, and he's doing this thing with fo- wow. Shout out to the universe. But make sure. You take care of yourself. If you genuinely love and care about the people that surround you, take care of yourself. Physically, emotionally, spiritually, heal that trauma. Become a better communicator. Become a better listener. Heal that trauma. I'm telling you. I'll catch you on the next one, man. It's JB. And I'm at.